<laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Stone Nothing. Oh, it is even more beautiful than I expected. <laughs> The game is, is broken. It's lagging. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get this party started, folks. Let's get all the T90 woos in the chat for this ridiculous map. Uh, this is a King of the Hill. And I believe Regicide. Yes, the King is strapped. <laughs> this is a, a, a King of the Hill Regicide game on Stone Nothing. And, oh, man, what... What have you guys done to me? What have you guys done? I'm crazy to be doing this. Now, uh, let's clarify a few things here before we introduce the players. It all started with Forest Nothing, didn't it? It started with Forest Nothing uh, almost a year and a half ago now, and that video has become extremely popular. We moved on to Wolf Nothing. We moved on to uh, Relic Nothing and, and Gold Nothing and uh, Dolphin Nothing. Like, all the Nothing maps later... We are going to have nothing everything nothing later on. Every next game stone nothing. Thank you very much, Angry's Tobo, for the 500 bits. Everybody's very hyped about this. Um, but yeah, these these maps are just crazy. Uh, there's a lot of what seems to be lag, so I, I really hope that sorts itself out. But I guess we'll continue for now. So... The, the cost for a lot of this is different. The Most of these stone piles have 10 stone here. Let me read this off to the, uh, to the viewers on YouTube. You start with a ton of villagers plus one goat. Some villagers, the goat and the king, might be trapped in the stone that is intended. You have to free them. Stone piles have 10 stone each, apart from a few sprinkled around the map that nothing have 10,000. Wood cost of archers, spearmen, siege, massively reduced. Players have to mine to their opponents and allies. Stone fortifications cost increased. <laughs> Unique upgrades, wood cost has not been changed. Starting resources are 420 because it's stoned. LOL! Yeah, so, um, I really don't know much about this map. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen too much of it. But since the stone piles, majority of them are only 10 stone, it... it there's a lot of clutter here, but it will open up some space for players over time here. What's with the trade cards? Well, this is diplomacy, I think. So, um... Oh, no, it's not diplomacy. Alright. Well, the trade cards is for trade. <laughs> Maybe put the stone in there and send some tr stone to someone. No one can buy a market now. Yeah, I... I don't know exactly how this will play out. Dux is the one who made it. It's made it, so I trust him. But anyway, Dux the Savior is here in the blue. We have Jomanal in the yellow, uh, playing as the Ethiopians. In the green, we have Pesky Eski playing as the Koreans, which is a not a bad pick. But the stone cost for towers is more expensive. Godlike Admin is playing as the Saracens in the teal. In the purple, we have some Similarin uh, playing as the Teutons. In the reds, we have uh, President Snow playing as the Koreans. In the gray, we have DK Arrow playing as the Portuguese, and then we have Wholesome Meme in the orange playing as the Chinese. What happens if we lose the dome? Gotta have them pointy boys, says Pesky Esky. <laughs> I, I don't know what the dome means. <laughs> Joe Manal is yelling at his villagers because he can't place the TC. He's like, build the TC. <laughs> it's been like five minutes. Oh, man. Oh. I think mining camps cost stone. I think a lot of things like towers will cost hundreds if not yes. thousands of stone. Dome of the Rock. Oh, it's called Dome of the Rock! That makes sense. And Duck says, is someone playing on a toaster? Somebody's having P is PC issues. Like, it should not be like this. It's kind of unfortunate. Yes, deleting the dome... Might not do anything for you. Yeah, okay, so Dux has deleted his dome. You can delete the dome of the rock, it's just the name. Yeah, okay. Don't they all miss wood to build a market? That's what I'm thinking as well. <coughs> um, I don't really know how this will go if they can't build markets. And you know, we've seen some farms built, which is not good if you don't have a market. Let's see. 145. 
How much wood did they start with? 145? That seems to be the trend. Well, Grim Gribble, I've seen this tested. Uh, Ducks the Savior tested this with lots of people, and there was no lag. So it's probably due to someone having a, a PC issue. But I mean, this this we really need a beast of a PC to be able to play something like this. I bet Blue King will die first. Yellow is almost there. Yeah, this is true. Uh, yellow is getting close. And you also can't see it, and you will see it soon. Ducks the Savior says, remember guys, every building costs stone. Now, I wish I knew what the cost was, so maybe that's what it is. Okay, makes a little bit more sense. Because if the mining camp and the mills cost stone, then the market might as well. And yeah, now DK Arrow, who is in the gray. Yeah, he is a market. Okay, so let's let's look at the prices. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see. Um, okay, so selling stone, you're getting 60 gold for every 100 stone you sell at the moment. Yeah, Ducks the Savior's King is right here. <laughs> it is right next to Jovenal. Uh, Kumar, this is stone nothing, my friend. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, Hank, dude, thank you so much for 10 months. Thank you for uh, working so hard on the, the maps that you've made for this community. Everything you do, dude. It's, it's awesome to meet you in real life. I will meet you again in real life. I'll see you again, and we'll have another couple beers. Uh, thank you for all the love, dude. Sorry it took me a few minutes for the shoutouts. I was just kind of uh, stoned here, and I, my reaction time was not up to par. Uh, also, Hank, I should say, while I have time to mention it to you, because I meant to message you, if there's any good games from your tournament, because I haven't really been able to schedule like, casting any games live, I think that's a really good tournament to do recorded games of. So I, I saw you paying attention to a lot of the matches, and uh, even even the one match from Harry was was pretty cool. Uh, with the the wonder and whatnot. So if you there are any matches, feel free to send them to me and I'll check them out. Okay, so so chat. Do you have any questions? I'm learning this as well. I'm learning this along with YouTube and Twitch. Most of these stone piles are ten stone. Again, mining camps. I think everything costs stone. I don't know the exact cost of them. I don't think the tech tree would would work for that, right? Uh, the units. Oh, oh, this does work. Okay, so archers only cost one wood. This is this is quite interesting. So all the archer units only cost one wood. What about these guys? Probably the same, right? Okay, trash units cost one wood because the pikemen have one wood. Um, camels. Yeah, these units have not been reduced in cost. Uh, we won't see navy. Monks, I assume, are are the same. Yep. Okay. Uh, unique units were not adjusted. I remember that much. Towers. Where are towers? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't have the original tower cost here or the market cost or anything. Oh, wait, hold on. University's 20 stone. Blacksmith is 20 stone. Siege Workshop is 20 stone. Market is 20 stone. Okay, so we're figuring this out now. Mill is 10 stone. Got it. Got it. T90 scroll left. To the left. To the left, to the left. What am I looking for again? I found the market. Hold on, we gotta go back to the game. Someone's a look at Hank's king. Hank isn't in the game. Do you mean ducks? Oh god! No! No! The creator of the map is dead! Ducks the savior gets rocked on stone nothing. It's the guy who created it. <laughs> <laughs> Jovanal is heartless. He is heartless. He's ice cold. Ice cold veins, man. Like, oh, ducks. Wait, hold on a second. You're telling me you created this map? Oh, that's cool. See ya. <laughs> Can we get an F to pay respects for ducks? Oh, man. Ducks, now you can answer questions. I was just looking at the tech tree trying to figure this out. Are there any other kings that are, are stranded in, in weird locations? Okay, not there. Not there. Oh, DK needs to be careful. He's not mining this area. Uh, wholesome meme is fine. Oh, President Snow. He's way out. He's on vacation. He's on a golfing trip. You better, you better finish golfing soon, man. I guess he's not too close to, to someone, so it's fine. And then Joe Manal's king is, has already been saved. Oh, that's Dux's. I'm sorry. There's no king there anymore for Dux. 
Yeah, Joe Manal's king has already been saved. Cool, so we're all caught up. Um, check the tower cost. I Again, I'm a noob when it comes to tech trees. I rarely look at it. Check the left. That's what you guys said to me. Left of what, though? Like, this is the upgrade cost. It's in the red. It's in the middle. Oh, God. This is like, where's Waldo? I was always bad at that game. It's in the middle here. There's guard tower and keep. <laughs> Left of TC. <laughs> Wait, what are you even talking about? I can't see it. I'm blind. <laughs> I, I almost just want to... What are you looking for? <laughs> left swarmer, left of TC. Oh god, there we go. <laughs> you said left of TC. I'm like, there's a house there. Woo! We got it. 3,000 stones. See, I, I knew that the whole time. <laughs> a giant apple is just like freaking out. Oh, you're all freaking out. We, we figured it out. I knew that the whole time. I was just trolling you guys. Please, come on. I knew it the whole time. It was fine. Right, chat? It was fine. Okay, so 3,000 stone to build a tower. That was quite an investment, I guess, for Jominal. And Jominal has another 3,000 in the bank, though. You want to sell this, remember? And the price is now... Yeah, this is... People are purchasing wood. And people need to uh, purchase wood, and the wood costs, like all nothing maps, are going to be quite expensive, I guess, with the exception of Forest Nothing. T90 needs to brush up on his tech tree searching. That, the funny thing is, like, I'm 2k on Boobly, and I still rarely look at tech trees. Like, tech trees, I feel like... I learn most of my stuff in-game, you know? Trolling isn't supposed to make people laugh at you, just saying. I guess it depends what your definition of trolling is, right? Could I get next game, please? Boobly crashed. Uh, Mickey... Uh, yes, 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 yes. We can do that. No problem. Mickey, were you con con, or... I forget now. Uh, the one player was having some some FP issues. I will say that the the performance of this has smoothed out a little bit. So, ducks. Uh, this map rocks, dude. This is this is awesome. This is awesome. I don't even know where this is gonna go. And players have kings, and there's a monument in the center as well. What do you do to uh, mine your way towards the enemy bases and try to snipe kings? And Jomunal is about to hit the Imperial Age. Uh, he is Ethiopian, so uh, I guess he gets some extra resources when he gets to each age, which is nice. Oh! He could trade with Dux's Market! He could trade with Dux's Market. Now, I'd need to clean up all these bills. So, it's not diplomacy. They're unable to add allies, but Dux is dead. So, you can trade with the dead man, no problem. Oh, that makes things interesting. And Dux was, was in between a rock and a hard place, yeah, for sure. For sure. I do not know what to expect here. I mean, I guess towers... What's the cost of castles? Uh, towers are expensive. I don't even know if they'll work too well. You gotta find a castle here, man. People are gonna judge you. Oh, <laughs> 69, really, Dux? 69? 6,900 stone? Come on, man. <laughs> Ducks is such a troll, I love it. I found it, chat. It's fine. It's fine. He could make one monk and start converting. Yeah, he could convert, Phils. I feel like he makes just one military unit, and he just eventually kill all this and start the trade. I'll have to think of it, though. Do farms cost stone? Um, Man, this is why I should have done my research prior to casting it, because... Farm. There we are. Seven stone. Yeah, they do cost stone. So, your economy, villagers are what? Food. So, you will need food, but you can easily get the food if you purchase wood. What is the main issue here? As long as you have... Wait, hold on. Purchasing wood... This is getting a bit confusing. I guess it's for the houses and some of the other buildings, but not even for the mill or the mining camp. So wood might not be as important due to the fact that a lot of this costs stone. Okay. Well, I should point out that... Uh, oh, there's an, a tower here from... From Jomanal. He's built another one. 
And that's to keep Wholesome Meme from coming this direction. And wholesome Meme making a trebuchet now. And wholesome Meme can just treb that down, and then he can try and mine his way through. And Jominal has not begun trade there. Uh, other players seem to be working their way up with the Vill Counts. All the Vill Counts are pretty strong. We have seven players left. No sign of where this will go just yet. President Snow is is moving his trade cards around. I guess he wa doesn't want the horses to get arthritis from lack of inactivity. So he's moving them around. Okay. I don't know where exactly he is going. Skok Sake, thank you very much for the prime. Otis, thank you as well for the prime. And Martin says, what's the thing in the middle? That's a monument, my friends. So in like all King of the Hill games, once someone gets here, which will take ages... I don't know about Ages of Empires, but Ages. Um, once you get to the middle, the countdown starts at 550 years, and then you have to hold that monument down to zero. So I almost feel like you'll see a lot more pressuring of the kings in this particular match due to the fact that it takes so long to get to the center. He thinks someone has already found a 10,000 stone pile, possibly. Um, you know what I'd like to do, if it's okay with everybody in the chat? Actually, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to remove the overlay for now. I don't think it's too important. I just want to remove it so we can witness all of this greatness. By the way, we will do this again. Uh, we're going to have to figure out the stone nothing meta over time. So we will do this again today and many times in the future, I'm sure. Next game, Forest Nothing, T90 Wood. Hey, Sintin, thank you for 13. Whoa! What happened here? Oh, a dead body! Similarin is in a is possibly going to be in a similar push position to ducks <laughs> soon if he's not careful. Is if this stone is chopped through and mined through, and godlike admin could come through with the Mamelukes. Similarin, he's uh, a, a, not quite at the 6,900 stone that he'll need to build a castle defensively. He also does not have a... Oh, he has a barracks, but that's it. He doesn't have any form of defensive military. That was bad. Show Grace King. Yeah, it was not bad. It was it was creative, man. Oh, Grace King is trapped, yeah. But I guess Orange can't see it. Funny game, guys. Funny game. So, with all this in mind, with the cost in mind, with archers being so cheap, archers won't be that expensive. Um... Unique units, their cost is food and gold. Gold, again, will be a huge issue, as selling stone does not give you all that much right now. I'm trying to think of what the best unit composition might be. Do you guys have any thoughts? Here's another glance at all the civs. Koreans, Ethiopians, Saracens, Teutons, Portuguese, Chinese, and Koreans. Can I just say, I love all you crazy people. Like, I freaking love all you crazy people and just how involved you get once these maps are made and played. Uh, Ducks, thank you so much for making the map again. Like, just how involved my chat gets. Like, oh, a Viper 1v1? Chat's like, eh, okay, we've seen it all before. Stone nothing? Oh my god! That's pretty much what you guys are like. Jomanal building a castle to protect the scary ducks villagers. Yep, for sure. I mean, that'll clean up the trade route. It's part of the next level strategy. Korean towers, Portuguese Vittoria only for one wood. Really? Are the Vittorias only one wood? Huh. A similar on the way to Imp, as is President Snow and Godlike Admin. A Godlike Admin will beat Similarin. And uh, there is a castle up now. Now, interesting thing is, Teutonic Knights do incredibly well versus Mamelu. Left, T90 left. Oh my god, not that way. It's beside the town center. Not right beside IT, you have to go left. Sweet Jesus, what are you doing? Oh god, no, not that way, it's left. Left, not right, holy crap, what is this? Is this trolling? Oh god, I wanna die. Sounds about right. Sound Sounds about right, Far and Farah. Thank you so much for the five. Thank you for the tips, everybody. Um, Fittori is 5k wood and gold. Okay. So it's been heavily nerfed. <laughs> this is hilarious. Now, these Mamelukes are trying to see what's going on here. Like, hey, I need some stone, all the stone to myself. Rip. Okay, they're dead. T90 wrecked. 
And no movement on this front. You see Holson me making plenty of archers. Currently, if you would like to purchase 100 wood, it is 263 gold. And there's really no way you can get gold besides selling stone and maybe food. And uh, selling both of those uh, gives you 14 gold for every 100. So uh, gold is, gold is going to be tough to come by. I do just subscribe to Team 90 Official to hear him pronounce my name wrong each time. Love it. Dude, I, I can't do that username. How am I supposed to say Shake Sake? Oh, Shake Sake. Okay, that's that's a bit easier. Sorry. I didn't put a lot of thought into it. I apologize. Thank you for subbing to the stream. I should point out to those that might be watching this on YouTube and to those new to Twitch today, as Panthers just showed you, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link it with Twitch and utilize what's called Twitch Prime. Twitch still and with Twitch Prime, you can get one free sub to a streamer a month. That has completely changed the game here, and Pan, thank you. Yeah, it doesn't seem like seven, does it? I think that number's a bit off. It's been longer, but thank you for seven. So, castle fight begins. Wow, look at this. And when castles are 6,900 stone, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be important that you repair this. Now, on the plus side... <laughs> He's out of stone on on stone nothing. He's out of stone to repair his castle. Are you kidding me? Now are the repair rates different? Do you need I think the repair rates might be different. I think you you need uh, like hundreds and possibly thousands of stone to repair. But yeah, I think godlike admin <laughs> oh, hold on a second. This is really close. I think Godlike Admin will win this Trub War. Either a machine gun is going off or a trade cart is driving by. I think you, Forster. You troll. Yeah, okay, this expensive castle is going to go down, and this is not looking good for Similarin. Now. Uh, Godlike is going to need to approach these treps in some way, otherwise his castle will will go down. He barely has the stone to repair. Look how quickly the stone disappears. Yeah, I think we could see both players losing their castles here. He has to hope his treps uh, can kill the treps of Similarin. He does not... This is ridiculous, man. He doesn't have the stone on stone nothing to repair. Come on. Come on, repair it. Uh, I think just three more hits and this cast is done. One, two, and then this will be the third and rip. Oh, yeah, there we go. It goes down. So both players lose castles there. Uh, President Snow says hi to Purple. I'm sure Purple is really excited to hear that there's onagers on the other side of him. Uh, President Snow made one single tower and put his king in there. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I kind of want to see one person just go to the middle. Because if you get to the middle first, it'll take so long for people to meet you there. And Jominal making light calf and making quick work of Dux's base. Again, the guy who created the map was sniped. Ridiculous. A wholesome meme adding many archers. Uh, again, he's trying to mine through here. Once he mines through, maybe he can fight. And that's the same for many players. Uh, the only players that are connected to each other now... Um, Okay, or Pesky Esky, who's, who's built a lot of houses, holy mining camps from Jominal. A Pesky Esky and Jominal are maybe going to trade or something. What do you say? Green have this. Yes, okay, thank you, Bay. I'm not sure what they're referring to, but anyhow. Uh, and then teal and, and uh, purple. What does stone walls cost? Stone walls... Embarrassing moment because I can't find things on the tech tree. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Fortified wall. Sit back over here with the tower. Ha! <laughs> Look, we're learning. Okay. The gate is only 30 stone. A stone wall is only 30 stone. That's not too bad. It's fine, Chad. I got it. I'm a pro with the tech tree now, okay? I got it. I'm going to avoid <laughs> looking at the tech tree for the rest of my Age of Empires career. So get used to it. <laughs> Well, these Bombard Cannons going to take down Wholesome Meme's castle. Wholesome Meme now does not have the stone to build another castle. He needs about 5,000 more. And luckily, there's no shortage of stone around him, but this could be trouble. I wouldn't open this up if I were him. That could be trouble with Bombard Cannons and, and uh, 
light calf and go right up in his uh right up in his business on the stone jomanov destroyed the market oh he did destroy the market yeah okay so that's that kind of makes it fair jomanov of course deserved to get that kill but at the same time he was fortunate I was thinking Jomanal was going to trade with Green for a second, because it seems like they're being peaceful. Uh, again, they are not allies. But no trade has begun for anyone in this game. And now we have Preston Snow right next to the purple. That purple is slowly withering away to teal. I think Archers is probably the best move here. Might just need to be full Archer Wars, and every trap that you create is going to be so costly. To replenish. Just a quick tip. The top bar is the Dark Age. The next bar is the Feudal Age. Next one, the Castle. And the bottom, Imperial Age. Hope that helps. Thank you, Sir Dolly. Really appreciate that. A Joy Division has subscribed to the stream. Welcome, Joy Division. Chat, can we get the T90 Woos going? Thank you very much. Um, you know, I feel like this would be a map where Spanish could excel. <laughs> because the farms cost stone. So you can build plenty of farms for food. And then just make TCs and go Spanish Vills, and hey, maybe all the uh, Supremacy Villagers could really do something. Everyone in chat seems to have their theories surrounding this. We will do more of this in the near future. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll be doing some later on on Twitch, so within a few hours here. We might even do it immediately after this again. Ducks, were you playing it at work, or were you playing it at uh, home? Because, no offense, when you died, it seemed like the performance got better. It might have been your laptop or something. Kira97 says, can you find one of those 10,000 stone piles? Sure, I'll, I'll try. Like finding a... A pebble in a rock stack. Uh... I'm clicking a lot here. I'm getting carpal tunnel. <laughs> oh, wait! Crap! Where was that? I wasn't really looking. I was just looking down at the stone count. There's one in here somewhere. Oh, wait! We're getting closer. Or what? Oh! There it is! We found one! Woohoo! We did it! There's 10,000 right there. Now, I feel like Purple just... He doesn't have anything that can defend from this. He doesn't have wood, so he cannot build his uh, military buildings. Seems like trouble. Pesky Esky. Teal says, I come in peace, Green. Peskieski says, okay, friends, I believe you. We order pizza on Friday. Let us know if you want to slide on over. Want to make sure we order enough, you dig? <laughs> uh, I'm already a Peskieski fan. You can find 10,000 stone tiles by looking at the tiles with multiple vills around them. Yeah, but that's kind of difficult, isn't it, Pacello? Like, oh, this must be 10,000. Nope. <laughs> There's so many vills. It's kind of difficult. Well, archers are the way to go, I feel. And these Saracen archers, they're they're cleaning up. There's not many of them, but it's enough. What does a wonder cost? Um, ducks, what does a wonder cost? I wonder. Maybe ducks can give us that information. Let's toggle through the player point of views and see how many resources they have. There's the resources for purple. DK's looking pretty good in terms of wood, gold, stone, and food. Um, uh, yeah, not too great for Wholesome Meme, but he could use that stone to sell, maybe? Lacking the wood. I think wood will be the most important resource. President Snow? I didn't edit the wonder. I'm just asking ducks, because every time I open the text tree, I'm gonna feel judged by all my viewers, and I don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah, ducks is dead. Sorry, ducks. Uh, Peskieski doesn't have too much wood. And yeah, Jomino doesn't have too much wood, so I guess... Um, DK Arrow, he's not really doing too much at the moment, but like in most community games, if you play it extremely safe, sometimes you can benefit from that, and he's doing quite well. Now, Skirmishers, they also cost one wood. Now, what's the food cost this associated with Light Cabin Hussar? I think it's the same, right? <laughs> Pesky Esky says, I tell you this. I'm never mining stone again after today. <laughs> oh man, maybe this is how I can get one of my stoner friends into Age of Empires 2. I'm gonna tell him about this map. 
Food costs are the same. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so. I mean, I think players are going to be very heavy on food because farms cost stone. So that shouldn't be an issue. They can make farms and replenish farms all day. So if you were to go into a counter to only food units, which would be like Cabra Hussar, I guess you'd want to go into halves if you could. If you had the wood, going halves would be extremely strong. But then again, archers are also quite cheap, so... Difficult. Difficult to say. Up to one gay plus viewers. Oh! No, I missed this! I missed it! Uh, sorry about that, Similarin, but he is in a similar position as Ducks the Savior, and he has been... He's crashed out of this game. You rocked, dude. You rocked, but not good enough. Teal claims a victim. He is God, anyway. Or at least he's an admin. And Shrebs and Archers for him really worked out. Ducks the Savior, you should cast Minecraft after this. Uh, Minecraft is not really my thing. But yeah, nothing maps? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Now, thank you very much, MM Bits. Yeah, we're above 1k viewers today. Good to see. Thank you for the three months of support. Lumber camp costs 10,000 stone. Didn't you make lumber camps cost 10,000 stone just because that would never be needed? Like, just as a joke? I think that's what you said. So, um, here's, here's what happened, guys. Ducks the Savior. I'm gonna promote you a little bit, Ducks. Ducks the Savior streams on occasion. And, uh... Like a good streamer, I pay attention to all my subs, so I try and host my subs when I can, and when they're streaming, I stop by and I, you know, I judge them like they judge me with tech trees. So I showed up to Ducks' stream maybe a week ago, a week and a half ago, yeah, like 10 viewers, a lot of T90 regulars in there, and uh, he was playing this, and I said, what on earth is this nonsense? And then he said, no, you weren't supposed to see it. <laughs> We weren't supposed to see it. Now, look at this castle. This castle is about to drop to light cab and archers. Uh, this castle is staying up for now. Jomino should repair this. Now, you know, I don't even know if it's worth it to repair. He almost has 6,900 stone again. And it seems like when you repair it, it drains you of a lot of your stone. Who knows? Players abusing that market. Uh, Siege Onager for President Snow? Are you kidding me? The Siege costs haven't been changed, right? Okay, so it's 20 wood. It's 20 wood to create a Siege Onager. The gold will be a huge issue, though. And he also had to, to spend, I assume, the same amount to upgrade to Siege Onager. That is a very expensive choice from President Snow. If you're wondering what our president is doing with all our tax dollars, well, here you go, guys. He's off off playing with siege onagers while, while people are idle and don't have jobs. I mean, it's a tough time. Excuse me, sir, T90 official. Do you have a license to operate that tech tree? Unfortunately not. Okay, I think we found a stone with uh, 10,000. There we go. So there's 10,000 here. Everything, nothing next game? Klinskink, I think so. We might do some stone nothing after that. Hmm. Guys, I'm disappointed by the lack of rock puns in the chat. I saw someone mention playing the Rolling Stones. I considered it. <laughs> I considered it, but I don't want to mute the video for YouTube. But man, is this something else? Now... I should point out that Wholesome Meme is dangerously close to the monument. So, for a while now, it's been all talking about sniping kings. Oh, and look at this. Skirmishers and Arbalest from Pesky Esky. And Pikemen. This is a pesky army. He killed the traps that a god like Admin cannot afford to, to replenish or recreate because he doesn't have the... Okay, he does... He has quite a bit of stone. He can build some castles. But he doesn't have wood. Which would be an issue. The donating money is Rocky theme. Yeah, the, the sub is Rocky theme. You're right. Where is Dave? He will sing. Wait, hold on. What? Where is Dave? He will sing Rolling Stones. Will he? I don't know about that, man. Guardian Angel says this map looks gray. Tuh. Great. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Can we get the T90 boys in the chat for Pesky? Uh, he has lots of pikemen. And that, again, is... 
This is a lot of wood cost. It might not seem like it, but it's a lot of wood cost. To purchase wood now, it is 307 gold for 100 wood. And to get gold, you need to sell stone, and you only get 14 stone for every 100 you sell. That makes it difficult. There we go, chat. Thank you. Grim, thank you for gifting two subs to one to that purple fairy boy and watching Shadow. Enjoy the emotes, guys. To everyone who has uh, come to the stream over the last few months with subscriptions, everyone who's been stopping by and supporting in any way, thank you so much. Again, I, I know I say it a lot, and it's kind of like I'm a broken record now, but uh, like seriously, without the subs, it this wouldn't be possible. You know, I wouldn't be doing this full-time if it wasn't for Twitch subscribers, so thank you. Uh, and also to all you YouTubers out there who can't make the streams that regularly, but stop by and use your Prime subs anyway. I know who you are. Thank you so much. I see it when I'm offline. I can't give you an actual shout-out, of course, because I'm not live at the time, but I really appreciate you. Prudelix says, hi, I'm here for the first time. What a beautiful map they're playing. Yeah, this is called Stone Nothing, my friends. And the next we will see everything nothing, I think, as long as Snippy has finished yes. that up. So... Pesky Esky is doing an exceptional job because he had the wood. Now remember Gray? Look at his wood count. How much do bombard cannons cost? Uh where where is it? Where I can't I can't see where's the bombard? I'm kidding, it's right there. 20 wood, okay. Still expensive. Here, have some pebbles to mind a salute. Thank you, man. Thank you for the pebbles. Man, I could I could use some cocoa pebbles. Oh, remember that? Remember that cereal? Oh, the Magnum shots! Pesky Esky, be careful! Be careful! Okay, he's using the capped rams here. This is a good response. The skirmishers have no defense upgrades, so they must be careful. And wow, what a pickoff from Pesky! Seems like the gold price has skyrocketed, Kappa. Yeah, well played, dude. And JP, thank you as well for the prime. Uh, apparently the wonder cost has not been changed. Uh, that's what I've been told. Oh, and there is a Fatoria for DK Arrow. How expensive did you say this thing was? Okay, I'm gonna just accept it, guys. Just accept it. I'm I'm not gonna be able to find the Fatoria here. I, do I have to be on the Portuguese player's point of view? Okay, I am. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. I've never looked for a Fatoria on a tech tree. Where? Where's the cost? Embarrassing, embarrassing, it's in the Imperial Age, where are you? Is the Fatoria on the tech tree? To the left of the TC. Okay, <laughs> Okay. so here's the town center, so we're good, we found the TC, to the left of the TC, so it's on this side. Is it up here? It shouldn't be up here, because it's not the age it can be built in. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> okay, so at what point did you guys realize that I'm playing dumb just to annoy you? Now, the first couple times, I must admit, it was a struggle. Victoria is 5k. Yeah, it's 5k wood and 5k gold. So that... Did he really go for that? That's not even worth it, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. Greetings from Germany. BTW, Goodness. Do I get it? Tonic w -O -O -O. Guys, wholesome meme. As wholesome as he has been on this side, with all the death and destruction that uh, he's allowed for Jomanal. He has the monument. So uh, now Jomanal, he's building more mining camps he has to get here. We still have to wait quite a while, but 525 years and counting for wholesome meme. Now, I don't think he can hold versus all the the trash from Jomanal. Interesting stuff. Now, Gray, he could maybe try and mine through to Wholesome Meme and go to the monument himself. Uh, the engagement's still ongoing between Pesky, Esky, and Godlike Admin. And Godlike Admin's king is in this castle, and Mamluks will not cut it versus Skirms and Pikes. Hmm. Man, Jomino has so much map control. He is... He also has a composition that I think can win here. 
He has Bombard Cannons. As long as he keeps these protected, I think that he will slowly but surely push through the walls and buildings. Uh, Red is now building some mining camps to get closer to the middle. I mean, Teal is pretty much dead, so we can get the T90 cries a while going for Mr. Godlike Admin. What if God was one of us? Yeah, he's getting killed off. And the castle is so costly for him to rebuild, and he's on his way to losing this. The Mamelukes is not going to do a good enough job to kill all these rams. I think they'll all die. Let's see, the ram... Oh, it stays up, okay. But still, uh, his Mameluke army is finished. He doesn't have resources. That's awesome to hear, Univolt. Thank you uh, for two months. And Rucksack, thank you for three. Uh, did we get a Teutonic Woo for you, though, Rucksack? I'm not too sure. Mintberry Crunch, welcome back with the Prime. Uh, Univolt, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag. I feel like a lot of people recognize how difficult the game can be. And they don't really have the time or energy to play. And I understand that. And they're here for entertainment. And then other people, they're here to also learn. Uh, and try and apply that to their own gameplay. So I'm, I'm glad that your goal is being found here. A fortified wall. For wholesome meme. But his castle. Yeah, he doesn't have the stone to repair this. It looks like he would have the stone to repair this. But as we've seen in the past... He really does not have the stone to repair this. Now, this is quite interesting. The Light Cav are just on stand grounds. So they're soaking up the skirmisher fire. His Arbalests are actually killing many of these skirms. Uh, Onager arrives. This Onager might run into the castle range, though. We'll need to be careful with this. Okay. Hopefully we don't need... Thanks, HDs! Okay, we're good. Yep, Onager goes down. Maybe jo maybe Wholesome Meme can hold off yellow, but I I think Ray will prioritize pushing through at some point. Look at his resources. He's even killing units now. What are you doing, dude? Don't kill Seabiscuit. Oh, goodness. And I thought the American Pharaoh could win another race. Unfortunate. Hey, he has two Fatorias, so I guess he wanted to create pop space for another one. Needs, uh, what? A lot, a lot more gold than wood. That's so expensive to get to that, man. So expensive to get to that. I want to look at the resources collected quickly. Let me zoom in on this. Yeah, look at the gold difference. Those Fatorias are really paying off. Finally! Finally! After all of these nothing maps, we have found a map where Portuguese excel. Look at the food and the gold there. Finally, the Fatorias... We, we only had to create stone nothing for Vittorius to be good. Oh, my bad. There's a the game. Now, I'm still still waiting on Pesky Esky to continue finishing off Teal. Um, again, yellow and green are sharing borders here. And they're not fighting each other. That might change at some point. Pesky's military count is so incredibly high. He actually has over 100 military. I'm sure that was Sision's plan all along, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> to be honest, Shine Apple, Fatorias work at lower levels. Like, you can justify at lower levels. But, um, even though we're all noobs here in these community games, no offense, stream. Uh... These guys are also fairly experienced, you know, keeping villagers producing at all times, using hotkeys, like, they're past the basics. So, Fatoria, I don't mind it because it's not one of those things that we should see when it comes to competitive play. Man, I have an itchy nose. <laughs> I'm glad there's no face cam. I've been itching my nose for, like, 20 minutes here. Stop it, guys. The puns are hitting rock bottom. Can we just get a T90 dad spam for uh, Nilus? Nilus, that's like the third one, man. I didn't even read them all off. What's up, Dagor? Yes. Thank you for six months. Yeah, Mameluke, sadly, just not the option. That This is not going to be what saves Mr. Godlike Admin. Yes. Well, Wholesome Meme's still holding on. 
But uh, here comes Mr. Jominal. And this is something that Wholesome Meme can uh, see. He sees the guard tower from Jominal. And Wholesome Meme trying to stonewall up the monument now, but it's still quite a long wait. Now, can we talk about Red? I mentioned the investment earlier. To go into a Siege Onager and Bombard Cannons, that's arguably the most expensive composition we have on the map right now. So he is chosen korean so he could build towers he built a few uh, he actually built quite a few of them considering they're three thousand a piece but this army i just i don't know if it can contribute too much jomala loses the villager and says he was a stupid vill anyway wouldn't gather well well maybe you, you thought he was stupid and he just quit giving 100 percent at work jomala ever think about that would you like to see Vittori's in competitive if they were changed, or would it be a bad thing? It would not be a good thing. I would absolutely hate it if it was in competitive play. Uh, I believe Mr. Godlike Admin has just died, and he has died, and I don't know exactly where his king has gone. I did see the, the army running over here. Oh, there it is! Yeah, the king was sniped. Peskieski sniped that, and I think I panned right by that. I just wasn't expecting it. Yeah, the king probably died in front of your eyes. I just wasn't looking at it. I was looking at the resources and the mini-map and all the things you have to look at when you cast. So, uh, well played, Peskieski. So, uh, guys, Twitch has done something really cool recently where there's a lot less of a delay between what I do and say and you guys. So, um, say pineapple when you hear me say it. I want to show you how quick it is. It's like three seconds now. It's pretty mind-blowing. And also, there's an option that... Let's see. Yeah, see, that's not that bad. Also, there's an option that reduces latency even more. But I don't want to do that because it can affect people's quality on the stream. And that would not be good. It's in beta, and we'll we'll wait till it's out of beta. So, let's say you all have $1,000. I give you $1,000. And you have to bet it. You can't keep any of it. You have to bet it on one of the players here. Now, we know that Ducks to save your... Sil Marilyn and Godlike Admin have already been eliminated. There are five players left. Who do you put your money on? Or my money on? <laughs> uh, here's the price, the uh, market prices again if you'd like to see. The issue is they can't really purchase wood because they can't get the gold to, uh, like, because they, the stone sale is, just gives them very little. Like 17, Jominal gets 17 gold for every 100 stone he sells. Your money, green. Gray, red, or orange. Well, you have to pick one person, man. You gotta spend my money wisely. You gotta YOLO it. Just so you know, T90 official, I'm going to say pineapple at the end of this stream. Okay, fair enough. Mr. Vittoria? Good guess. I mean, I really don't know. I really don't know. I think that we're gonna see a massive engagement between Wholesome Meme and Jominal. Uh, we've, we've seen plenty of engagements already between them, but it was mainly over here. No. Can you elaborate more on the Fatoria thing? Saga Wolf, exactly what do you mean? Uh, the unit itself, like the building itself, is that what you're confused on? Well, that I can elaborate on. It's a building, yes. which uh, normally is much cheaper, but it's expensive for this map because of how strong it can be. And it slowly gives you a trickle of resources. I believe it's just food, stone, and gold, right? Maybe it might just be food and gold. So. Gray and Red are trying to trade. This is a trade heist. Uh, Gray is getting 22 gold per trip. It, I don't know if this is something that they've agreed upon. Yeah, it looks like it's something they've agreed they've agreed upon. This is going so good for Red, or for Gray rather, because he's getting so much gold. You know the reason why you don't want to see it in competitive because it's so against. What competitive Age of Empires 2 is about. Competitive Age of Empires 2 is about balancing eco, build distribution, build orders and adjustment, and then you have to know what to create and how to micro on map position, etc. Fatoria, you just simply build a building and it gives you all those resources. That that's so against like all the economic stuff which is so important and is the foundation of the Age of Empires 2 game. These orange walls are gonna make it hard for him to get units in the Monument radius, aren't they? Yeah, I think so, Hobo. And I think he built these buildings so he could produce uh, from this area. But it's still not going to be enough for Jominal. Now, he didn't know how much Jominal had here. We did. It, 
270 years now. I feel like if I'm orange, I don't even worry about this. I, I wait until the 100 year mark to push with other people. But yeah, gray and red are trading. Now, others could have done this. Of course, green and yellow could have been doing this for a while. Uh, Jominal could have also traded with Ducks of Savior. Maybe green didn't want to share. He said he'd share pizza, maybe not gold. <laughs> Peskieski says, I ain't here to start shit, Red, don't worry. Just want to cut into the middle here, but um, considering that you're also doing that, I could move. <laughs> it would be very inconvenient. Yeah, he's trying to cut to the middle, but Red's getting a bit annoyed by his presence. President Snow says, we'll run into each other, not the best spot. I think President Snow should invest in a few more mining camps. It really helped with the efficiency. But it's good to see others are, or, well, all the people left are trying to get to the middle. Except for Gray. Like, Gray has more yes. resources than anyone, and he's not really making any moves. He, I don't know what he's really up to. <laughs> he's saving up for Fatorias. He's a big spender. So chat, uh, T90 nice in the chat if you think this map has been yes. pretty interesting. And then uh, a T90 cry, I guess, if you hate it with every fiber of your being. And please be careful with the T90 cries. You don't want to make ducks feel bad. You did create the map. But I feel like most of you have really enjoyed this. This is pretty interesting. Can we trade green? Says Jominal. Peskieski says, orange, there are a lot... Orange and the lot... Oh, hold on a second. All this conversation. Let's see. This is easier. <laughs> my husband I have absolutely no options for now then ah okay so wholesome meme he's discussing things with uh, President Snow and Peskieski says my husband Orange and the lot are plotting against you be ready <laughs> uh, so they are they are going to trade Peskieski is the real MVP for this chat be like Peskieski. Don't worry about the gameplay. Just give us entertaining chat. <laughs> My husband, the orange and the lot are plotting against you. Be ready. Prepare yourselves, my love. <laughs> oh, I love this community so much. You guys are so great. It's not even diplomacy and they're married. And their parents probably did not approve. But you can't stop love. You cannot stop love. Okay, so here's the here's the trade. Um, did they save the trade cards? Many people deleted their trade cards, or they all just died. Oh man, don't tell me their trade cards are dead. Trade units. Oh, that sorry. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no no trade cards for either of them. Jominal and Green they deleted their trade cards. Well, uh, President Snow is trying to get to the middle. They need to get here soon. Jominal's very, very strong at the moment. Now, the Siege Onagers could deny President Snow from opening up a gap. Um, oh my goodness, they've been flattened there. There's six stone left on this tile. So I think if he forces it, he could get it, but... Jominal recognizes, hey, I'm in a good spot. I have Siege Onager. I have to stop them from cutting through. And now President Snow has the Bombard Cannons to answer and kill the Siege Onagers. Well played there. You think he can get Dwayne Johnson in the community? He'll love this map. Oh, yes! We're gonna do... Stone Nothing as the YouTube title, and we'll have Dwayne Johnson as the thumbnail. Maybe I'll tweet him and see if he can send me a photo... Uh, specifically for the thumbnail. I'm sure he'll respond. Okay, so... Uh, one thing about this is... If... President Snow realizes and chops through this then it's going to be a very small choke point, which will make it difficult. And Terry Crews. Well, Terry Crews isn't called The Rock. Is he called The Stone? I don't know. We need to... We either need to have a massive stoner on the thumbnail, or The Rock, or both. Terry Crews, I know his son is into Twitch and whatnot. I, I have thought about like reaching out to him, because I'm a huge fan of Terry Crews, but... Uh, like, yes. you know how many times someone would reach, would reach out to him in my position? Like, it's probably thousands of people who do that. Just check the achievements, right? It's the only player to go over starting number of villagers. Ah, uh, interesting. How many villas did they start with again? 
I guess this would give me the answer if you happen to know that. Man, this is just... Look at that KD from Wholesome Meme. And look at the resources from GK. Wow. Unbelievable. Villager high, 183. So I guess they started with 160. That would make sense. A rock smoking the rock. Okay, President Snow is through. 146 years remaining. Uh, this is getting tense. This is getting intense. Peskieski, he has no way to the middle, really. And he has to chop through a uh, mine through this way. And he'll run into either Joe Manal or President Snow. 139 years, and only three people can get to the middle, realistically, of the five left. Um, finally, DK is, is looking to, to get here as well. And maybe he will have to go through President Snow. And if he does have to go through President Snow, then that is not going to be good. And President Snow is the one person who's looking to stop all of this from happening from Jomanal. Now we have Chinese Light Calf. Very strong units here. Chinese have fantastic Light Calf. They have full upgrades on them. And the Chinese Archers aren't too bad either. Now, so many Halbs in the Rams from Jomanal, though. And those Halbs cleaning up the Light Calf. And now with the Siege Rams in front and the Skirmishers behind, Jomanal. He might clean up this entire army. Terry Crews with the stone on his bald head. <laughs> oh man, you guys, you guys uh, should make my thumbnails. There's a C. Joninger for Joe Manal looking to get a big juicy shot. An amazing shot on the Arbalest. Can he squeeze in here? There's obviously quite a bit of lag because of all the stone, all the mining. But don't mind that, or don't mind that. <laughs> Just focus on what's actually happening here, not the lag. Still waiting for DK. DK has so many resources, but it does feel like this could all be a waste if he doesn't get to the middle. And as of now, Jomanal is is doing so, so well. Uh, his wife might need to turn against him soon, Peskieski. As the skirms and the pikemen, maybe he should show up. That is the sound. That is the sound of 100 years on the countdown. And Jomanal, he has a real force here with skirmishers. Hussars, Halberdiers, and even some Siege. This is not cheap. Jomanal got the very first kill of the game, killing the creator of the map, and he has not let up since. Yes. And there is not a limit of castles, however, castles cost 6,900 stone. So it's, it, it's costly. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if President Snow can cause an avalanche to win this. Oh, man. Uh, with a few shots with the siege, he could do so. But the problem is the, the fact that Jominal, he's producing out of most of his buildings. So, as you guys know, you need to have one unit in the middle at all times. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no, Peskieski! Not like this! Not like this! The skirmishers! No! Run away! Wait, hold on a second. I think he's just passing here. I'm very sorry for what I must yabba dabba do. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's happening here. <laughs> Pesky Eski is yabba dabba dead. <laughs> Said it's fine, you'll crush me, but I gotta throw something, okay? Or I'm a loser. <laughs> this is true. But Pesky Eski just ran by. The units from Jomanal giving so many free hits. Oh, I love Pesky Esky. Look at the siege from President Snow. The issue for President Snow will not be the lack of siege. It will be the lack of other units to hold the middle with. 57 years. Uh, Pesky Esky has to enter through Jomanal or through President Snow. And President Snow has the walls up. Uh, Gray is... Oh, he's going to have to go through this wall from wholesome meme so he is arriving look at that many bombard cannons good lord are you kidding me this is insanity now the sad thing is guys it's going to be so easy for him to lose these and that's the sad thing and if he does we know how much it took him to get them how long it took him to get here oh it's going to be so difficult jomano lacking numbers in the middle now he's at 150 pop he's stretched for resources he is creating units out of almost every single production building I look at. But will he have the time? 38 years remaining. The very first stone nothing game. 
the premiere. And oh my god, that Siege Onager attack, attack the Bombard Cannons. The Siege Onager flattened the hand cannons. Uh, here come Bombard Cannons from both President Snow and Mr. DK Arrow. And DK Arrow needs to be so careful. You need a buffer unit. You need something like Halbs. Oh god. Oh god, how tempting is that? How tempting is that? L look at all the siege units here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a massacre. It is an absolute massacre. Siege dying everywhere. It took them two hours of game time to get here. Oh, but at least Wholesome Meme gets the middle back for now. And again, the lack of buffer units for President Snow and the lack of buffer units for DK Arrow just proving to be a really, really uh, poor decision or lack of decision, I guess. Man, like, <laughs> they both went in there with everything they had and now they're running back. I have to say I saw it coming. I have to say I saw it coming. Retreat! Retreat! And President Snow now considering going into champions. So I think infantry, like Halbs are champs, with the siege is perfect. The siege kills all the ranged units and enemy siege, and then your halberdiers kill any melee units that might come in. Uh, champions even better, of course, as the champions will counter other halberdiers and the skirms. But uh, wholesome meme. I mean, this guy has really been through a lot, and he now with 15k stone has the middle once again. And Jominal, well, he. Only thing he has is his lover. And that's not gonna win him the war. Pesky Esky in a really awkward position here. Can't get through to really help and doesn't want to affect uh, Joe Manal's life in a in a bad way, I guess. And they need to push soon. They need to push soon. Now the other funny thing is there are kings here. Also memes king is in this TC. So, I mean, this could die. As I say that, it looks like Wholesome Meme has placed some walls that he's not building at the moment. Oh my, oh, he's done the, he's done the, uh... <laughs> he's done the trick, the building foundation trick. He has so much stone, he's built walls all over the center of the map. So now he can see everything that's over top of these buildings. <laughs> Wholesome Meme says, sorry my mouse died. Yeah, it's probably because he was clicking the wall hotkey so often. A wholesome Meme. In the middle, 55 years remaining. As King is not too far away from the action that's coming to his base. And he's at 200 pop. So normally you'd say, oh, he has food, T90. He has food. He could create light cap to snipe the siege. Will be still there. He really can't do that because he's pop capped. The only way that he can create units from home... As he sends villagers to the middle, as if he loses stuff. And now he's actually... Oh, he's building all these walls. Oh, good lord. He's building all the walls. I'd like to remind you all, never before have we seen a game where someone has control of the monument, but then loses their king. If uh, the king dies for Wholesome Meme, if he loses this, and he still takes the countdown down to zero, everybody loses. Hey, I just want a route to the middle, don't mind me, says Peskyaski. So yeah, just passing, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it seems like he's just passing right into uh, right into President Snow. And President Snow, he has an opportunity with one or two shots. I'll oh, get the arbs. Get the arbs. One or two shots. It'd be so glorious. The path finding so bad because of all the moving parts here. Can he fire? No, he can't. The light calf. Doing enough, and I guess Gray has chosen not to go for the king, but instead to go towards the middle, which is also a fine decision. 29 years remaining. Jominal, he has some numbers. He's going to start coming to the middle to assist. Remember, before we saw President Snow and we saw DK Arrow running into each other, and they had no buffer units. They had no halves. They had no champions in front. This game is lagging out like crazy. The units are just on stand ground for Wholesome Meme. He doesn't want to leave the middle. He needs to finish these gates so he can get his villagers in to join the party. It's kind of a party of death, but uh, whoever is left, I'm sure, will be celebrating if he can get the victory. The stone wall is actually a brilliant move. 
it, there's just a few tiles open on this side. Now, can Joe Manal get the reinforcements? Can or sorry, can Wholesome Meme keep the reinforcements up? That's a lot of bombard cannons. And this is where President Snow needs to be careful and not attack DK Arrow. If he attacks DK Arrow with his siege, then I think it's over and Wholesome Meme gets the victory. It's in five years now. The siege onager comes in. He will kill some Arbalest. There's not much left here for Wholesome Meme. There's not much left here. About 20 units. And he has two years. More Light Cav on the way. The gates are clogged. But he sends in another group of Light Cav. And he gets the victory. What a game. Everybody was there in the end. Pesky Esky even showing up. <laughs> what a victory. Wholesome Meme was dedicated to this man. And what a great game from him. Big shots. Different strategies. We saw death in the very beginning. We saw King Snipes, and we saw a wonder victory. Uh, everyone interested in the market prices now. Th the market prices aren't as obscene as we have seen on other maps due to the fact that to purchase wood, you would need to have gold, and gold was very hard to come by because uh, the stone, like the selling price of stone and food was, was god-awful. And that's at the bottom right if you're at all interested. Um, I think that DK Arrow, he chose a, a good strategy. He just couldn't implement it. Uh, he had plenty of resources here. Plenty. Well over what everybody else had. He had trade and he had Fatorias. I think he lacked uh, maybe the military numbers in the end because he didn't have near as many numbers as the other players who had the pop space without Fatorias. Uh, and also, he did lack the buffer units like the Halberdier. I feel like that would have helped him a lot. Wholesome Meme had more kills during that game when we checked. And yeah, he has 850 kills. That is the most kills in the game. I think it's fair to say that Jomadal and Wholesome Meme, who are right next to one another, probably played the best in this one. They were the most active. Ducks got one kill, okay guys? He got one kill. I don't know how he got it, but at least he got a kill. Godlike Admin, he was finished off. He played a good part. He got a kill against Purple. Pesky Esky was probably the most entertaining with the text chat. A DK Arrow, he made friends. Maybe they were lovers. I don't know. With President Snow, they were they were kind of buddy buddy there, and um, everybody got something. Wholesome Meme got the victory. Joe Manal, he had his wife and Pesky Esky. Godlike Admin got his kill. Yeah, crazy game. Uh, let's take our time through this. So there's the KD. I'm wondering what Ducks killed. Like what what did Ducks have that he could have killed something? Cause didn't he die in Dark Age? Wow, look at the gold difference there. Are you freaking kidding me? 144,000 gold. The second highest was President Snow. Oh sorry, Joe Manal at 105. It's a huge difference. The wood difference as well. It was all due to the market and him purchasing resources. By starting T90 boys, probably auto attack something later on. Ah, gotcha. I didn't know you had any T90 boys there, ducks. I'm such a noob caster. And look at my social banners at the bottom left freaking out. They're like, yeah, great game. More, more, more. I'm sure they sound like that. My first community game, how'd I do? You did well, man. You did well. It's hard to win those games. I think everybody played their part there. I do feel bad for Ducks. Like, I'm never making a map for T90 again. Now, in Ducks's words, it says, You start with some Vils, the goat. Oh, no, it says, Some Vils, the goat, and King might be trapped in stone. That's intended. Free them. Those were Ducks's words. He's the guy who created the map. So I guess <laughs> it is kind of his fault. So there you go, Ducks. All right, guys, we are going to go on to another map in a bit. Uh, I need to take a quick break, get some water, and grab a little bit of a snack because I'll be having a long stream, and I don't want to uh, step away for too long, but I, I need some snacks. Uh, also, during that break, I'm going to add the T90 Love emote to the stream and remove T90 Dragon. We'll add T90 Dragon as a regular emote.